क्वेश्चन नंबर लेवन क्वेश्चन नंबर लेवन कंसीडर द फॉलोइंग फॉरेन करेंसी कन्वर्टबल बॉन्ड्स फॉरेन इंस्टीट्यूशनल इन्वेस्टमेंट विद सर्टेन कंडीशन ग्लोबल डिपॉजिटरी रिसीट नॉन रेसिडेंट एक्सटर्नल डिपॉजिट विच ऑफ दि एबो कैन बी इंक्लूडेड इन फॉरेन डायरेक्ट इन्वेस्टमेंट सो वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ एफ डी आई सो एज द एफ डी आईस आर इंक्रीजिंग मोर एफ द एफ डी आईस आर इंक्रीजिंग मोर बट ऐ कैन नाट कंसिडर इट एज ए करेंट अफेयर क्वेश्चन बट ऐ कैन कंसिडर इट एज ए कॉन्सेपचुअल क्वेश्चन बिकॉज ओवर ए पीरियड ऑफ टाइम दि डेफिनेशन आफ एफ डी आईस एंड एफ आई आईस आर चेंजिंग सो यू नीड टू बी आलवेज क्लियर अबउट दैट नाउ ऐ टेक् फारे करेन्सी कन्वर्टबल बॉन्ड्स फारे करेन्सी कन्वर्टबल बॉन्ड्स सी फारे करेन्सी कन्वर्टबल बॉन्ड मीन You know what is a convertible bond. You know what is convertible bond. Convertible bond means a bond which may be in terms of debt can be converted into equity. If it is equity, I can convert it into a debt. But if the debt is converted into equity and that too, if it is in the foreign currency, then I can certainly call it as it is a foreign equity. it's a foreign equity if my debt bond if my debt bond is converted into equity then if that is in terms of foreign cannot can't i consider it as a, a foreign equity yes that foreign equity can also be an fdi is it clear so a convertible bond means can be converted in any way that can be converted into any equity but if that is a foreign currency in nature then definitely it is a foreign equity so if foreign equity means i can consider it as fdi they are not invested through a stock market it's a, it's an issue of bond that happened maybe in the foreign country or maybe in india maybe anywhere it might be issued but i'll come to that also foreign institutional investment with certain condition see the foreigners will invest in two ways one is the direct way and second one is this institutional way see if it is a listed company listed company then if it is listed company means if it is listed in the stock exchange they will become the partner of that company just by purchasing their shares just by purchasing their shares suppose if it is a not listed company they will bring physically capital into india and they will invest in that company so that is if it is an unlisted company it can be done directly if it is a listed company they will purchase the stocks but in this purchasing of stocks or equity in if it is less than 10% you will call it as foreign institutional investment if it is greater than 10% in the listed company you can call it as fdi though it is happening in an institutional way do it this is the definition of fii this is the definition for an institutional investment means if it is greater than 10% then it is fdi if it is less than 10% fii because when the company is already a listed company if you want to infuse any capital into that company you can do only through this equities and shares you can't do it in another way so that fdi can be uh, the fdi consider if the purchase is greater than 10% so that means foreign institutional investment with certain conditions can also be considered as an fdi can also be considered as an fdi global depository receipts i think uh, you are aware about this gdr adr idr indian depository receipts american depository receipts global depository receipts if indian company want to raise money in a foreign company in a foreign currency then they will issue this depositories in the foreign currency and the foreigner will purchase that go depositories and they will pay some money and that equity you will bring it to india and whereas in case of american depository means now indian company will issue its depositories in america now american citizens can invest in indian companies in american currency that means we are bringing a capital capital in different instrumental form so that means this is also a foreign equity this is not happening through your normal equity uh, operations or the merchant bankers and ipos and no it's not happening that it's a different instrument so overall a different instrument we are going to the foreign country to take the foreign capital so the global depository receipt is also an fdi next non resident external deposits non resident external deposits see that means non resident external deposits means 
non resident indians are there non resident indians are there that means they are indians but they are not residing in india so non resident indians they will work in foreign country they will work in foreign country now they will <coughs> earn some amount of money that money is converted it into forex and they will save it in the bank in indian bank they will save it in the indian bank they will save it in the indian bank they will save it in the indian bank so this non resident external deposits that means the money that he is earned outside the country now that is depositing in india now the question is now the question is if he is depositing if he is depositing in a bank can you consider as an investment see you are also depositing some money in the banking system that means that are you investing in the bank are you investing in the bank you are not investing you are just saving the money in the bank now the bank is liable to pay that money at any point of time the bank can use that money the bank can use your own deposit money suppose you have uh, invested let you, you you have deposited let it be 1 lakh rupees the bank can use that 1 lakh rupee money but they are liable to pay whenever you ask that doesn't mean that i am an investor in the bank like in the case of this non resident external deposits also whenever we have a forex problem whenever we have a forex problem whenever we need more forex we may utilize the deposits of these people that doesn't mean that these people are foreign direct investors as a source for foreign exchange reserve we are using these deposits but they are not strictly foreign direct investors but there is always a liability on the government of india to pay these external deposits at any point of time whenever they ask so this can be a source for the foreign exchange reserve in Indi foreign exchange in india that doesn't mean that they are the foreign direct investors no they are not the investors i think you understood okay so this fourth one is wrong means okay eliminate fourth one wrong and 1 2 3 correct so answer is a amrita ias academy